Wham, bam. And now looks like we are officially oh. live in the oh. flesh. What's going we're on, live. Gabe? We're live now. Hey, hey, Anthony, <laughs> thanks for, for having me. Um, hold on. Casper is making love to my foot right now. Um, but Who? I'll get him back. Up. Um, <laughs> well, I'm hold on. And it's not just, uh, come on, buddy. Step up. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I didn't want him to be like uh, uh, chewing on wires. So, but yeah, this is uh, Casper. He's uh, a friendly parrot. Um, yeah, he he's you know awesome. He was on the stream last time for, the, but I'm sure everyone's new here, so I probably have to reintroduce him. Um, you know, named after Casper the friendly ghost. He's a, a cartoon character. I used to grow up watching Casper uh, all the time, and uh, I named my parrot after Casper. And actually, I named. It's weird because uh, I went to do it with this arm because I'm looking at the screen, but right. it must be like mirrored. So it's hard. Yes. In fact, I can't even do the right direction. <laughs> there it is. It's, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, he's such a good boy. Uh, but yeah, I actually named my dog uh, is a female dog, Poyle, which is Spooky's girlfriend, uh, she, who's actually Pearl. But, you know, Spooky can't pronounce uh, Pearl correctly, so it's Poyle. Um, so I, I don't know. It's if I get another pet, it's probably going to be another Casper related thing because that seems to be my theme with pets. Uh, I'll probably get like you know a tarantula or something. <laughs> That's all I got. That makes sense. Makes sense. Well, before we it's okay if I all... drink. It's okay if I drink coffee <laughs> while we're on the stream. Okay. Drink, well, funnily enough, coffee. Kate here says, "Where's the ghost energy drink, Gabe? Last time you were on the stream, you had ghost energy. You were trying to get sponsored. What's what happened? Oh, with that? um, I." Don't know if I have any in my fridge, but I have other energy drinks. Uh, and I'm glad you mentioned this because uh, soon, probably June, um, I did review of all the ghost energy drinks. I tried uh, every single one that I could acquire. Uh, there's more than I, I did. But, you know, I, I, did, I thought about, like, do I really want to buy a whole case of for one extra flavor on Amazon? <laughs> but... Um, so, so I tried to like, I have like 12 ghost energy drinks and I, I rank them in a video, uh, but I am still trying to get sponsored by ghost energy. Uh, so, Hey, uh, ghost energy. And I don't know who owns them. Are they their own company? I've been trying to figure this out, hmm. but, um, I would love to get sponsored by ghost energy. Um, <laughs> cause it is good. like my favorite. It does give me a headache, but, um, <laughs> but when it, when it doesn't give me a headache, the flavor is so good. The energy is great. Uh, and and I cannot say the headache thing if uh, and some, <laughs> sometimes sometimes it doesn't give me a headache either. So, uh, as long as the money's right, there's no more headaches. Yeah, if, if you pay me, I'll, I'll like any of your energy drinks, even <laughs> um, Rockstar or whatever. Rockstar. Um, well, Rockstar is pretty good. I, I was trying to think of like a bad energy drink, like um, I don't know. There's so many of them. But what I about Monster? Totally... That's on brand. I used to drink a lot of Monster, but then Ghost came out, and I was like, I like Ghosts more than Monsters because I do more investigations of Ghosts. Uh, um, but I, I used to like Monster a lot. I would totally uh, do Monster. I would actually like to make my own line of energy drinks, and I have a lot of ideas. So if anyone wants to put up the money, um, I can <laughs> gladly, uh, you know, we can go in, you know, together into business. So anyone who wants to help me create a energy drink line. I have lots of ideas. I, I don't want to talk about them because they're they're my uh, intellectual property. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So so for those who are unaware <laughs> with this amazing intro, this is Gabe Matthews. He is the owner of Greenville Ghost Tours here in Greenville, right. South Carolina. My personal history with him is I did one of his ghost tours when I first dropped down to South Carolina. It was an amazing tour. We did a lot of paranormal uh searching and that's part of your youtube channel that you also do which is you're a truth searcher and paranormal investigator so on your channel you go through some haunting places and uh, places that are haunted and you investigate them cemeteries a lot of different things um, yes i'm mm -hmm. uh i'm the lead investigator founder of the truth searchers paranormal investigators as well as the owner of greenville ghost tours i am a paranormal educator a paranormal influencer a paranormal researcher a paranormal enthusiast uh, and I could probably come up with some more of those. Um, and, and, it, and I realized that as I do things, you know, one kind of becomes the hierarchy over the other. Uh, but I, I never want to lose the fact that I am a paranormal educator, you know, and I do like want to raise awareness uh, for the paranormal, uh, teach it and again, find the truth. And that's really what I'm after is the truth 
uh, and to enhance media literacy. Uh, hmm. So that's kind of what I'm I'm about. Um, so, um, but yeah, I like to do ghost tour in downtown Greenville, South Carolina. So I, I know you have a lot of people who travel on your stream. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's like some Hilton hotels down here. There's other uh, brands too. So if you have points at the Hyatt or you have points at, um, you know, Wyndham, I'm sure there's a Wyndham mm -hmm. hotel here. Or uh, what's the one that has like, uh, what's choice, choice brands? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, I'm sure you have people on your stream who have lots of choice brand hotels. There's some in Greenville too. They have them here. Hell yeah. We got Marriott. Come stay. Mm -hmm. And uh, special uh, for anyone on the stream or watching this who wants to come on a Greenville Ghost Tour, use promo code VENTURE. Uh, and I think it's $5 off, but whatever, I, it's already programmed in. So if you book a Greenville Ghost Tour, use promo code VENTURE, you get a discount. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Only the best. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't think um, anyone used that promo code yet either. So if unreal. someone uses that promo code... Uh, the first one to use it, well, I'll buy you a drink or something on the tour. Oh, that's right. He also or, has a drunken bar crawl. I do mm -hmm. have a drunken bar crawl. Uh, right now, it's only as a private tour because, I don't mm -hmm. know, I can't get enough people to do it on a frequent basis except during Halloween season. So I'll probably bring it back during Halloween season. But um, you can uh, book. In fact, all you uh, venture capitalists, get together. Come on a trip to, to Greenville and let's book a, a private bar crawl. And we'll do a paranormal uh, tour in, uh, yeah, downtown Greenville. That would be pretty fun. Right, that would be ghost. cool. Yeah. Hmm. That's a good idea. Maybe we can do that. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. I also want to mention right exactly at 4.20 p.m. Let's go. Good time. Keith S. comes in with a $2 super chat. Do you drink Liquid Death? And what's your favorite, Gabe? I do, you, Gabe. Like, I do like Liquid Death. I, I think it's brilliant. Um, wa water in a can. That's death. I mean, anything that has to do with death, dying, ghosts, anything paranormal related is I'm a big fan. The problem is, is like it's more expensive than other things. Um, so it's like, do I really want to pay a premium for that? Um, and, and what is my favorite liquid death? To be honest, I haven't tried it at all, but I'm getting ideas for a future video. So if my ghost energy review is amazing, I will review liquid death. How about that, Keith? S. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you, Keith. Um, not too bad. I'm hearing something in the comments or reading something about balls. <laughs> is that a is that a thing? Cherry, yeah, cherry? balls energy. Yeah. What is um, that? I I don't think I've ever had balls in my mouth, uh, but, but uh, I, you know, YOLO, and um, you do can do anything yeah. once. So I would definitely, yeah. you know suck down some balls for uh <laughs> to, to see what see what it's like i suppose um <laughs> oh lord mr a residential funny man he said if they sold blue balls at a gentleman's club that would be serendipitous hey man yeah uh I, does, do they serve a different flavor of balls you know <laughs> i guess raspberry like is there like you know salty salty balls <laughs> Well, I just keep. I think of like Chef from South Park, cho his chocolate salty balls. Um, but yeah, um, that's great. Kate, Kate is laughing over here. Uh, Phil Mo is saying, if we use the code Venture, do we have to go to Greenville? Seems like a steep ass. Yeah, man, come on, you gotta come to Greenville, Phil. You love it out here, man. You love it. Uh, yes. I mean, if you, if you, wherever you live, if you want to fly me out, uh, you know, buy my plane ticket. Put me up for the the weekend in a nice uh, hotel. Um, I, I I'll do a paranormal investigation, and you know maybe also we, we can talk about it. So you can you okay. can email me if you don't want to come to Greenville. I'd be happy to go there if you if you you know put me up. Really, I mean I might do it for free if you buy my plane ticket and buy my hotel and maybe a meal. Um, <laughs> basically, if you give me a free trip, I'll definitely give you a tour of your city. I can even research. Um, hauntings in your city. Uh, hmm. In fact, that's that's an interesting business idea. Yeah, I, I will come to your city. I will research your ghosts, and I will tell you about your ghosts in your city and do an investigation. But it's going to cost you lots of money. But <laughs> but uh, I would totally do that. That's that'd be fun. Very interesting. So before I get into in the fact, if you live okay. if you live in Europe, 
<laughs> I'd love to go. I've never been to Greece. If anyone on the hmm. stream has ever uh, lives in Greece and would love to fly me out to Greece, I'll investigate your ghosts. Uh, oh my god, this is great. This is great. Before we get into the weeds a little bit, I want to get more into some paranormal talk, but I also wanted to ask you, just personally, before I was getting ready for this, I was like, wait a second. I remember when we first uh, linked up for a video, not the live stream, but we did a video where we, I went to the most haunted hotel in Charleston, it was the Mills House, right. and you helped me do my own personal investigation there right. and through that process you also asked me like how'd you get this night for free because i used like a free night certificate and whatnot to which you actually applied for uh, a hilton business card at that time and i think you did you get a free night certificate not only do i have one free night certificate i have at least two free night certificates and oh. one of them expires in july uh and yes this has been on my list of to do's is to uh, I consider this to be a collaboration. So this is basically an ongoing investigation where you basically gave me a lead and evidence, and I have to basically go to the Mills house and do my investigation to follow up on yours. And so this is basically an ongoing investigation. Now, when will I have time to get to it? I don't know, but uh, I would love to do it before my um, free night stay runs out. Um, and I'd hate to use that in a different city than Charleston because I kind of plan on going to Charleston. Uh, hmm. So hopefully, hopefully this summer I can um, go to the Mills house and do that investigation. And I still have that footage that you sent me uh, somewhere. Hmm. I don't know if it's on a dusty old hard drive. I did have a, uh, a computer that um, the hard drive, uh, I, I lost all the data and um, I took my computer to the computer store and they fixed the computer, but they said it cost like $700 to try. And they said, they I might not even be able to get the data back. So I, I don't know. I lost some things, but I don't hmm. know what I, I didn't lose your clip though, but I, okay. I lost, I lost some things that I was excited about. And one of them, um, is, uh, something that I'm really sad that I lost. Uh, and it's uh, the Murda Murda murders. We had um, we did we had some information. We actually sent that to authorities. So this this video still exists out there, but my backup uh, is gone. And uh, oh. we had been wanting to release it, even though um, I think Netflix came out with season two. So I think it's still in the uh, you know vernacular of you know people who watch you know murder documentaries. Um, but, you know, the True Searchers were the very first paranormal investigation team to ever investigate the Murdoch murders. And we have evidence that kind of led, uh, we believe, led to the, uh, you know, Alex Murdoch um, being the, the one. So, um, and I, that, vi that video is, is lo lost on a hard drive and uh, it crashed. So, um, hmm. yeah. Damn. It, it's that just sucks. sad news. Sad news to report, everybody. Very sad. Jeez, yeah. that's messed up. Yeah, I know you. You and uh, I think Kyle Jones were on that that case for a while in uh, South yeah. Carolina. Yeah, and if you go to my YouTube channel, True Searchers, uh, YouTube at True Searchers, you, there's a video um, where it kind of teases that um, a f further investigation, and it's I'm saddened that we haven't we haven't really got to finish editing together that, and then I lost like the key footage, so. We're thinking about doing some type of podcast or some type of like uh, something to kind of kind of finish it up. And we kept thinking that we would be in the documentaries, uh, but they keep not showing us in the documentary. Mm. And uh, every time that there's a, a season two or whatever, they're like, oh, surely they're going to talk about the very first paranormal investigation team to go investigate. And we found key evidence because uh, they were offering a reward. And we mm. sent that in. We not only did we not get the reward, we never got even acknowledgement that they have it. But they they have our our video, and, and that was key piece of information we believe uh, that led to the arrest of uh, Alex Murdoch. Wow, that is crazy. That is absolutely insane. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you, you telling me about that and sending it into you know, the authorities and whatnot. That's that is pretty wild, huh? Actually, kind of similar here. Don Kim asks. Does Sedona, Arizona have paranormal activity? Many people experience rejuvenating energy in Sedona. Hmm. I haven't heard that really. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, there's actually paranormal activity everywhere. If you think about um, the earth and uh, land masses and, you know, the death uh, per 
capita people like you know there have been 100 billion people to have been born and died on our planet and if even like a conservative estimate of one percent has not crossed over to any afterlife and is still roaming around earth as a spirit you know you think about current estimates about you know 100 uh um yeah i don't know um was it seven uh seven billion eight billion eight billion people currently on earth um you know, 1% of those, uh, if you're in the presence of eight people, there's odds are there's one spirit in your presence. So it's just hmm. simple mathematics. I like to do mathematics in my paranormal investigations. Uh, and it's just simple math. Um, it, there's spirits everywhere. That's all I'm saying. And then imagine it's 10%. There could be upwards of, you know, 80 spirits uh, in your presence, you know, if you had uh, eight or 10 people. <laughs> definitely, definitely. That's yeah, that's pretty wild. And ghosts are everywhere. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. They're of course yeah. in Sedona, Arizona. And rejuvenating energy, um, is that rejuvenation? Is that um is that what you said? You put uh, that rejuvenating energy. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> rejuvenating energy. Reju rejuvenating energy. Okay, like re getting refreshed. Um huh. like I don't know. Like what uh that's I, I want to know more about the rejuvenation. So Dong uh, Kim, if you want to talk about like how do you get rejuvenated in Sedona, uh, and I'd love to come do a, an investigation in Sedona and see if I could get rejuvenated. Um, that's actually <laughs> going to be the word of the day: um, reju <laughs> reju rejuvenating, rejuvenated. Um, yeah, you know, a, that's interesting. A juvenile is like a juvenile delinquent. Yeah. You know, like what it says, like the same like core word: juvie, juvenated. So hmm. like. Yeah, let's look, look at a juvenated delinquent. You know, rejuvenated. Delinquent. <laughs> right, right. Maybe the, maybe the energy is. Yeah. Yeah, like so. If you have a juvenile high. delinquent, you just need to rejuvenate them, and then it's they're good. take them to Sedona. So yeah. take the take the the convict to Sedona, let them get rejuvenated, and then they'll be a better person. Yeah. In society. So if, yeah, Got if it. you're if you're juvenated, you need to get rejuvenated. Okay. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. Um, Ray uh, Casper. Actually, Casper. I also want to mention. Uh, Keith said my uncle's name is James Griffin, the same name of, of Alex Morgan's lead lawyer. I'm going to troll my uncle forever. Oh my god. Nice. Um, and if he is the lawyer, please reach out to me. Um, <laughs> That's right. And even if he's not, actually, I'd love to have him on the podcast and talk to him as if he was the lawyer. That sounds <laughs> <pretty> good. <laughs> As if he was the lawyer. Cave, you're amazing. Um, I, I did want to ask you just my own personal curiosity, though. The Hilton business card, <laughs> it uh, it got revamped recently, and some yes. people are upset. Some people I, like Keith are happy. I watched uh -huh. your video. Uh, believe it or not, oh, yeah. one of my hobbies is watching credit card videos on YouTube. Um, really? And yeah, and actually, you kind of got me into that, and because it's like I I own credit cards that I want to you know do the points game and get better at it. So and I've you know we became friends, and so now I watch your videos a lot. Um, hmm. And so I watch your your Hilton one, and actually when I watched it the first time, not everything kind of got embedded in my brain. Uh, hmm. So I was like, I need to rewatch it again before I, I do anything more. But I know that my one year is coming up. So I was wondering, do I want to re-sign up or do I want to spend, what is it, 100 or $200? So it's an extra $100 in annual fee. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, but then you get some changes. So like the multipliers you once had, which I don't know if you necessarily cared about at the beginning, but now the multipliers is, is 5x on everything in, uh, in, any, uh, in any category. So, yeah. um, you know. Yeah, and here's, here's my card, everybody. So oh, this is the old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you have to request the replacement, man. They gotta send you the new blue, one, the blue one. Okay, it's all different um, looking now, and it's metal apparently. Okay, well I don't know. That's what I was gonna ask. Do I want to cancel it or do I want to keep it? So it depends on what you're spending your money on. If you're someone like Keith who has a million, you know, millions, of dollars, not actually millions, but uh, close to it in business spend every single uh, year, like he's looking to get more Hilton business cards because you're getting that five x on, on, uh, on up to a hundred thousand dollars. So that's, wait, five uh, x of what? The Hilton points. Five x Hilton points. Yeah. So yeah, if yeah. you're if you're going to a lot of Hiltons, then you want to keep it. Probably. I, I, it's I actually used to go to a lot of Hiltons. I used to, you know, hmm. uh, but I haven't been traveling as much. Um, so I'm worried that I, I won't be getting the enough 5X. 
Possibly. Well, another thing you get now with the hundred dollar increased <laughs> annual fee is you get the um, quarterly Hilton uh, credits. So, you, like, if you get to pay cash for a Hilton hotel, sixty dollars will come off, and that's every single quarter. So, technically, two hundred forty dollars worth of that credit every year, which technically could offset that one ninety five dollar annual fee. What I've been doing is just buying Hilton gift cards, and it does count. So you just build up a cash. So I get I get a two two hundred forty hotel credit every year on the card. Is that right? Sixty dollars a quarter, but yeah. Okay. Ah, so you gotta go once a quarter to get your get that spent. Well, or just buy Hilton gift cards like I've been doing, and then you can buy the okay. build them up. And yeah. Use them there. Yeah. All right. I realize you said that, and I was trying to think and listen <laughs> at the same time, and and sometimes for me it's hard. Um. So yeah, if I buy sixty dollar gift card once a quarter, and who do you gift that to? Who gets your your gifts? Well, <laughs> well, you buy them for yourself. You can buy them oh, in fifty dollars okay. increments. So pretty much the the most you're probably getting is like the fifty dollars if you don't want to go over. So it would be two hundred dollars in gift cards in the, the year. But what you do is you just take the gift cards and then you call them. on the phone to book the Hilton. Like I did this recently. Stay at the Hilton and at checkout you could pay with the cards. Okay, um, that's actually so. a really good idea. So I could get. So so here's here's the thing is like um, you're on top of all this stuff, but me sometimes I get these cards. And then I actually need to like sit down and be like, okay, I forget which one has, you know, two X points on, on, uh, entertainment, which one has it on groceries. And, you know, and, and I used to know them, but they change every year. And yeah. it's like, ah, oh, I realized that one of my cards that I've been using for one thing that went away or something. Mm. And it's like, yeah. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I maybe we can talk about, maybe that's something people want to talk about. Sure. <laughs> if I listed out all the cards I had and which ones to use, or is it a bad yeah. idea to tell people what cards I have? It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Just don't show the numbers. Just don't show the numbers. That's right. Yeah. Uh, is yeah. that a fun game? Is that what people want to hear about? Uh, I mean, that would be interesting to see what a paranormal investigator carries in their wallet. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. It's too bad we don't have like a graphic that we can put up. Um, no. Well, my very first credit card ever was the Chase Freedom. Mm. So I'm not going to cancel that, but I remember that that's like a what two x everything or one and a half x everything or something. Yeah, one and a one and a half x. Yeah. So everything. so like what? When do I? When should I use that card? Would you say? Well, and, and I guess it depends on what the other cards are, right? It kind of, but that is usually what people will use as what they call a catch all. So just use that on all purchases that don't land within specific without categories specific like things. Purchases. And that's kind yeah. of what I. It's kind of what I use it for. Like, oh, I haven't used it in a while. This isn't groceries or gas, so yeah. I just use it on that. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. okay. My next one is a Chase Sapphire. Uh, the which, preferred. Or uh, was preferred. A... Preferred. Chase oh, Sapphire. Okay. Preferred. Yeah. Um, cool. And I can't remember what the fee is every year, but that's a, that's 95. a fee one. 90, 195 or uh, just just 95. 95. Yeah, so that's not bad. And I remember that one being a, like I for a long time I used this for most things like uh, dinner because uh, you get a bonus for meals. Hmm. Uh, but I I actually might not it might not be the best one I have for that. It, it also travel and entertainment I believe. Is that not right? <laughs> that might, you have a Capital One card maybe for entertainment. You might. <laughs> Well, let's, let's, let's let's move on to. I, I actually have an American Express Gold. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it's gold, baby. Well, and I, gold. we uh, uh, I got it um, for you know t to use the points, and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it next year or not. Um, yeah. So that's another question. But that one like has all this stuff, right? It's like a big old bundle. Kind Kind Stop. of yeah. So so Mr. asks a good question. Is it it does uh is it rose gold or classic gold like my shirt? Uh no, it's classic gold like your shirt. Let's go, I, baby. Let's go. <laughs> dude, I'm not doing that rose gold nonsense. That guy you had on who's like all about rose gold. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Uh, but before we move on, Keith S coming in hot with a twenty super chat, man. What are you doing? I appreciate you. Uh, how much to turn this into a private drinking tour slash live? I'll open a bottle of wine and cheer you on. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, I don't know. As one who doesn't normally partake in alcohol consumption due to its propensity to cause behavioral changes in addition to lessen mental awareness, all while lowering your body's natural protections from evil spirits, I'd be game to uh, have a drink or two for, <laughs> for the entertainment of the audience if that's what you guys are after. Um, <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, I, we could <laughs> we could probably do a live stream when we're uh, at a bar one night, maybe. Well, okay, that works. I mean, I won't start drinking, unfortunately, Keith. I'm so okay. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I tried, Keith. I was going to go get some, uh, you know, scotch or, or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, thank you, Keith. I appreciate you. I have to drive after this. Um, so, you know, what can you do? Um, uh, wait, spirits are bad for spirits. Got it. MR yeah. Says. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a, a more concise way to what I just said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Keith says, good spirits only. Yes. We, we're trying to keep it to good spirits only, Keith. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. So, uh, on the topic of your MX Gold, I mean, it, it's. It's kind of uh, it's really contentious at the moment. There's a lot of people canceling uh, just because well they don't want to use like the daily monthly credits that you get on there. So like the Uber Cash, the Grubhub, whatever. Um, so I don't know how much of that are you using. Are you using your credits? No. Nothing. You're not using any of the. Credits? I mean, well, I actually forget what what all does it does it give you. So like you get what? ten dollars in Uber Cash, so you can use that towards Uber rides or ten dollars a month. And then ten dollars towards Grovehub, like Shake Shack, a few restaurants. Okay, I'm writing this down for just to know, because I need to use it at least while I have it. That's so, the I only mean, reason I, it's justifiable for most people. Okay, ten dollar Uber, ten dollar Grubhub. What else does it do? <laughs> well, it just gives you forex back on restaurants. And yeah, forex uh, restaurants. So, stores. so that's forex restaurants. What's Chase preferred? What's that give you for restaurants? Three X. Three X. Okay, so yeah. I should be using this for restaurants. Possibly, but your sapphire is only ninety five dollar annual fee, but the gold is two fifty. So I don't know if you should keep the gold. <laughs> yeah, I probably, probably don't should. keep it. Yeah, probably should cancel. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I would say. Well, I, when when I got it, it, I think you get a free uh, global entry or something. So I was wanting to use that. I wanted to get that. I think. Uh, was, but... might might be another car. Wait, do you have the platinum? Because that one comes with that. How do I know what it says? It's just a gold American Express. Uh, well, the platinum card is a different card. That's like a seven hundred annual fee. Don't believe the gold comes with a global entry. <laughs> I thought that's why I got it, but maybe I'm misremembering. <laughs> that's why. Who knows? Probably, probably I would get rid of that one to be honest. Uh, okay. Maybe keep uh, your hilts in business if you're traveling. Well, then I have an American Express Cash Preferred, which I use for gas and groceries. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you already have overlap there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, probably... wait, wait, where's the overlap? Because that. So, like, your gold card has a 4X groceries, but your preferred also has 6X groceries. Of course, there's a cap. I think it's 6000 a year. Oh, wait. Eight, uh, um, cash Preferred has 6X groceries? Yeah, you have the dark blue one, right? Um, yeah, it's dark blue. It has the um, uh, Trojan guy on it. Is that, <laughs> right. are we is that still politically correct to, to call them Trojans? Trojan? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if it was out of style to call to call these guys Trojans. It's this guy. Is yes, that, it's okay yeah, to call him right. a Trojan. Is I think Trojan? so. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't want to get canceled for you know talking about Trojans. The people from. Uh... Who are those people from Troy? Is that is that the Trojans? Yeah. Uh, so so wait. <laughs> so this one has six x. Um, six percent cash back. Yeah. The groceries for, for groceries. Yeah. So I use this one for groceries, and this yeah. is what I should be using. And then I use it for gas as well. Yeah. And I can't remember what the x on it is gas, but I know it's more than most. I think three. Yeah, three x gas. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I have two business cards. I have. Uh, Chase Inc. Business Unlimited, which I got, you know, from you to get the That's uh, right. bonus, and then I got the uh, the Amex Hilton Honors. Not bad. Which, okay, which so great. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got six. Six cards. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Did you hit the the bonus on the um, Inc. Unlimited yet? Of course, of course. Yeah. Nice, nice. So that's a good amount of points. For um, sure. so I guess my question is, yeah. So it sounds like I should probably cancel my gold when it runs out. And then the question is, do I keep Hilton or do I get another different business card? Or I mean, it depends how, like on your lifestyle. I don't know how much you're traveling. Like if you plan on doing a lot of Hilton stays yeah. for some reason, I mean, you could just climb the Hilton ladder and go for the no annual fee one, right. get 100,000 points, <laughs> go for the surpass, get another 150,000. Well, well, I am a Hilton Diamond member. Uh, so I, I was doing a lot of travel, um, right. but uh, right now I have been traveling. 
so I might lose my time at it. Uh, unless I'm able to sneak in some trips sometime. Um, hmm. and, and again, if your fans want to book me to travel to their city uh, to do a paranormal investigation, then I'll, you know, can maybe use my card. Uh, they could Venmo me the cash, and I can use my card to get the points. <laughs> that's, that's that is exactly what they will never do. They will never do. They want their cards. Put the mm. spend on their cards. Well, we can work it out in the deal. <laughs> we can work it out. Okay. Oh God, that is so funny. Uh, Juan, Juan, what's going on, Juan? He says, "No joke. In the rare case, I forget. I put small labels on my cards." on what to use using emojis to denote the category. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's awesome because like, yeah, it's like, I forgot. And uh, so, going back to the Amex gold. So I should be using that probably right now for restaurants. And I should definitely be getting one Grubhub a month and then an Uber a month maybe. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Pretty much. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's, it that's seems pretty doing. shitty. <laughs> You have no idea how happy you just made Keith and a lot of other <laughs> folks in the community. A lot of people. Like it's it's like two hundred some dollars a year, right? Yeah. Well, the the idea is like if you're a person who can value like the ten dollars, the twenty dollars a month in the food credits, <laughs> then that's two forty a year, and then whatever you make from the grocery category, restaurant category, should put you over that two fifty. Well, I mean, it, but. so so people who are always Uber and always grub oven, but what kind of lifestyle are you gonna just be? <laughs> You can't drive, like. <laughs> I mean, I, I, mean, I guess it's only ten dollars. Yeah, one, I guess if you're in a big me. city or whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, that's right, Anthony. You you use Grubhub all the time, right? So like, you don't I mean, never drive. <laughs> Less so. I'll do pickups. I'll drive to go there. Well, then again, yeah. I, you know, some people on the stream might just be boozing all the time, and yeah, don't drive. That's <laughs> that's horrible. So you should probably have someone deliver it, and also it helps the economy. So I, I'm, I'm maybe maybe thinking it's a good thing again. I don't know. <laughs> for sure. I, I was more thinking for my lifestyle because I I haven't been using the Uber or the Grubhub, and it's like, well, I remember I got a good bonus when I got it, so I got the yeah. bonus, and yeah. so harvest the bonus. And uh, are you sure it doesn't have a global entry? Uh, I'm pretty pretty sure. It doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's a few cards I can recommend after that have it, but. Um, Pretty no, sure. I, I, I already got it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, you got it then. But I thought uh, that was I thought that was the reason I got it. <laughs> yeah, application free for global entry, or you get a hundred dollar credit or something. I don't know. Is there something I don't, I don't know, know, know? folks. <laughs> folks, there's something I don't know. Well, I'm probably wrong, but I thought that's why I got it. Huh? I'm sure. I will say, though, Filmo came in hot with a 10 super chat. He said, I like this guy. I'm coming to Greenville. Go Swamp Rabbits. Hey. This is, on, this is the guy who, who said he wouldn't come here at all, and now he's like a complete 180. Uh, and he researched he researched our minor league hockey team. Uh, wow. How, how does he know that? You know, And actually, I was really, I was really disappointed. This year, I was going to make an extra effort to go see – uh, the Savannah Ghost Pirates play the Swamp Rabbits, uh, oh. but I didn't make it to the game. I'm really saddened by this. Uh, but next year, I'm going to try to go to the Ghost Pirates game. And I, I guess I'm still conflicted who to root for, to root for my home team or to root for Ghost Pirates, which is an amazing <laughs> name for a, a, a team. Um, right. So, yeah. Right. Makes and sense. also, I, I've been contemplating. I was like, is there more paranormal energy? for sporting events where a team has a paranormal themed a uh, mascot. Uh, so hmm. would there be a lot of ghosts in the, um, you know, bond secours wellness arena when the ghost pirates are playing there? So I think a full paranormal investigation, uh, is something I need to do. Uh, hmm. so, so that's, um, something on the agenda for maybe next year. So, uh, subscribe to true searchers on YouTube. Uh, if you want to watch, me investigate a ghost pirates uh, sporting event at the, the Bonds Course Wellness Arena next year. Okay, let's do it together. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, I'll <laughs> take Anthony. We'll we'll go investigate the ghost pirates. <laughs> Have you been to the Swamp Rats game? Uh, no, no, not yet. Okay, dude, you got to go, man. The really? minor league hockey is so much fun. They, mm -hmm. they have, sometimes they fight. Um, hmm. You know, live hockey is fun. You're a big hockey fan, right? I you're was. From, yeah, you're from the north. 
they all well, like we got the Rangers the up there. Yeah. Okay. They're yeah, I don't Canada, know. I, but. Yeah. Eh? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I like uh, I like live live ho- live hockey's fun. So let's go to a hockey game. Uh, I haven't been in, I haven't been in years, but um, I was wanting to go the last two years to go see the Ghost Pirates. So. Yeah. And then we'll do a bar crawl after that. Would be yeah. great. Everybody and you know what? I like you, Phil Mo. I like you too. Phil is a great guy. Uh, by good. the way, if you, you guys want to give me money, um, you can find <laughs> you can find go to green, greenvillegosttours.com and I think there's a donate link. Uh, oh so my you can, god. You can, you can pay me too. <laughs> And you can book a ghost tour. I get money that way too. And actually, you guys need to buy my merch. Um, you have, oh really? Yeah. Well, at, do people would people buy these hats? So I want to make more hats. Oh, but I, oh, it's actually nice. But I don't I don't nice. know if people would actually like buy them. So and and what I found out is I'd probably have to sell this one for thirty, but I I can get a cheaper hat and I can sell it for like twenty. Um, <laughs> this is a nice hat. This is a nice hat. So it's like, I, nice. but I, I want to sell hats. I have a Greenville Ghost Tour T shirt. Um, which you have one, Anthony. Um, I do, yes. Yeah. But yeah, I want to start selling merch because um, you you sell merch, and uh, you know why not? That's another way to make money. I try to peddle it on my tours, but then I get like someone writes a one star review. It's like <laughs> all Gabe did was talk about his merchandise <laughs> on the tour. Blah 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 blah. It's like oh damn it, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh you guys should God. go go to Google Review and read my one star reviews. They're epic. <laughs> People, suck. People hate my tour. I almost left an F bomb. I'm sorry. I don't want to. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh my God. About one out of every person like despises me and my tour, and they they write me nasty grams, and they 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 blow up my inbox, and it, it's it's insane. Jeez. Yeah. Well, well, thank you, uh, Phil, again for that, and I appreciate you. But there's another thing here that uh, we were talking off camera. It's kind of a hot button topic for you. Keith came up with another super chat suit, uh, two dollar super chat. Appreciate you, man. You know, as always. Um, but he he said, which Ghostbuster movie is the worst Ghostbusters? Now I know you have some tie-in with this man. And, and so. Okay, uh, so this is either the easiest question in the world, or it's a, it's it's a tougher question. And it, if you consider the uh, 2016 reboot to be a Ghostbusters movie, then it is co- by far the worst movie. Not only the worst Ghostbusters movie, but in the running for the worst movie of all time. Um, but if you don't consider it to be a Ghostbusters movie, uh, then probably Afterlife. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, Paul Feig's 2016 remake. Why are we remaking Ghostbusters? Number one, Ghostbusters is a perfect movie, a 10 out of 10, uh, you know, the best movie of all time. It's like, why are we, why would you remake Godfather? Why would you remake Back to the Future? So you hmm. remade Ghostbusters, and then they did the whole gender swap. You know, just seems kind of like a gimmick, which actually, uh, the cast is great in that movie. But then it's like, they didn't even do their own thing. They literally, like, beat for beat, remade Ghostbusters. So it's a horrible, horrible movie. I could probably talk for, we're, we're here for like two hours. I could talk two hours <laughs> about how bad this movie is. And, oh, and not only that, like, I actually... Um, Someday I might do a review or, or something on my channel because, like, I despise this movie with a passion. Uh, you know, Crim's, like, even the things that were good, like Crim's, Chris Hemsworth discovering his comedic talent. But they, even the jokes they write for him are so bad. Like Mike Hatt and, uh, you know, I it, it's just bad. I don't want to, like, keep going with this. But did you see uh, Frozen Empire? No. No? No, I didn't. Uh, I liked it a lot. In fact, uh, you should go to my channel and check out my review of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Uh, mm. It is my third favorite Ghostbusters film. I like it more than Afterlife. I, it seems like the fans of Ghostbusters like Afterlife more, um, but mm. it, my review of Afterlife is on my channel as well. So if you want to get my thoughts on Frozen Empire or Afterlife, you can go to my channel um, and, and about that. But I am an OG Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters 1 is my, uh, I don't know, like my favorite movie and then Ghostbusters 2 is an inferior movie but it's it was fun you know it's it's the same people coming back so I'm a Ghostbusters mm-hmm. 1 Ghostbusters 2 guy and then Afterlife was disappointing for me uh but I think Frozen Empire is kind of putting it in the right direction uh that being said it, it's it's a it's a mess of a movie I gave it a 6 out of 10 uh which is positive I would say uh, and I thought Dan Aykroyd, Ray Stance was amazing in, in uh, Frozen Empire. I thought Garaka was awesome. Uh, but you guys can go check out my review on that. And Anthony, uh, you, uh, what's your favorite Ghostbusters movie? <laughs> well, I, could, I have to say I only watched, uh, I guess, two of them. 
I saw the okay. one that they did. I guess it was a couple of years ago. Afterlife, uh, yeah. I, is that Afterlife? Yeah. So I guess I saw that, and then of course the original. Okay. Um, I, I mean, at risk of being attacked, per, you know, personally live, I think I'm just gonna say the original. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course. And I mean, Lewis, you're kind of like a Lewis Tully, you know, kind of guy, right? Right. Yeah, my, I don't know. Who's that? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, Lewis Tully is played by Rick Moranis, and he's the guy who does his taxes and kind of uh, turns into <laughs> Vince, Vince Corthorow, who's the key master of Gozer, uh, basically turns into a dog and, uh, you know, is one of the minions of Gozer, you know, um, so well, worshipped by the Sumerians. And, you know, uh, yeah, I. You know, all the Zools and Shivs and all that kind of stuff that he uh, was in print. You know, he had the, the pot on his head. And he's also in Ghostbusters oh. 2. Um, you know, so I love Rick Moranis. He's, he's a great uh, comedic talent. He was in Honey and Shrink the Kids. You know, you know him. Oh, that's him? Oh, yeah, okay. That's yes. totally, yeah. But he's not know. in any of the new ones because he's probably smart. Uh, but, you know, he could have. <laughs> I'd like to see him, though. I'd like to see him uh, come back. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, so you haven't seen Ghostbusters two, which which uh, not to call you out as a liar, but um, I uh, posted that uh, it, on New Year's Eve you can start what time to start Ghostbusters two, and then um, at at exactly midnight, Bill Murray, Peter Venkman himself, will wish you a, a happy New Year, and you said that you were going to do that that night. And, and I'm sitting at home watching Ghostbusters 2 on New Year's Eve. And, you know, midnight happens. And uh, Bill Murray, Peter Venkman says, Happy New Year. And I thought to myself, I was like, <laughs> Anthony Venture is is doing this too with me right now. <laughs> and I felt I felt good about it. I felt it was awesome. So um, it was very sad, sad to hear that you lied. You told me you were going to watch Ghostbusters 2 on New Year's. Not only that, you've never seen Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> uh, you should watch it. Because not only that, Ghostbusters 2 has the best villain in Ghostbusters. I think Vigo is the best villain. That being said, Gozer is as good. But Vigo, like, scared me as a kid. I mean, Vigo the Carpathian, you know, death is about, not a door, time is uh, but a window, I'll be back. Like, he's, he's spooky as shit, man. And, like, you know, when to kind of take over a baby and kind of put his soul in there, like, it's... It's pretty good, and and I, I thought it's just a good continuation. You got the slime blowers, you know. You, you uh, you know, you got. Uh, there's a lot of good things um, in the movie. Uh, you, you come over anytime. We'll watch Ghostbusters too. To get, I, I own all the movies, of course. Um, Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. That would be and, fun. And, and actually, I want to see Frozen Empire a second time. I only saw it once, and I hear it mm. gets better with with each watching. And also, I want to uh, everyone go out and watch Frozen Empire because we need to get uh, another Ghostbusters movie in theater. It's kind of under, underperforming uh, my um, what I would like to see. Uh, and I actually think it was a good movie. What did your fans think of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? Did they like it? Did they? Um... So, well, I see a couple comments here. Kate, uh, in particular, stood out. Why do I feel like I need to defend the, the 2016 Ghostbusters? And, and Richie says, don't do it. She says she's doing it. Now this is happening. Uh-oh. Is that a problem? Uh, I don't know. I, I just really hate that movie. Like, it's so bad. I actually, um, I got into, yeah, he likes Afterlife Baron Fresh Fries. It seems like that's consensus. Uh, if you watch my reviews on my channel, you can see why I prefer Frozen Empire and why Afterlife is not as good. Um, it, they just redid Ghostbusters again. You know, it's still Gozer again, you know, and then it's like the mini puffs. And it's all this nostalgia bait and Muncher's just basically a blue slimer. And it's like, oh, it's Egon's kids. And, and really the biggest thing I hated was like race dance, like hated Egon uh, or like he said, Egon can burn in hell. And it's like, that's not the race dance that I know. Um, hmm. And it's just like the characters weren't as good. And yeah, I just didn't care about any of the new characters. I just went more of a, uh, uh, Peter, uh, Ray, and and Winston, and maybe even Egon, even though he's dead. Um, so like that was the best part of the movie. Um, so, but yeah, I thought Frozen Empire kind of left in a good spot, and a lot of people complain about too many characters. But I'm thinking we need more characters. We need more Ghostbuster teams. Like, let's get more. Like, I mean, let's throw uh, Lewis Tully back in there. Get Dan Dana Barrett uh, back in there. Uh, let's do another. Just do another sequel, and uh, they kind of have like the real Ghostbusters vibe going on in a live action film. 
uh, which is kind of what we want to see. I mean, Garaka is the, the third best Ghostbusters villain uh, after Gozer and Vigo, of course, unless you're talking about mi- like, you know, kind of sub ghosts. Uh, I'm kind of more talking about the big bads, you know, the class sevens, because, uh, you know, Gozer and Vigo are class sevens. And I'm sure Garaka is also a class seven because he is kind of there's there's a whole scene in Ghostbusters First Empire where Patton Oswald. Uh, talks about Garaka's, you know, thing, and I, I kind of zoned out in the theater, which is kind of why I want to go see it again because I need to like kind of jot down all the details. It's basically a history lesson uh, for Garaka, uh, you know, who kind of comes and freezes uh, New York City. Um, and, and yeah, it's like I also was like, why is Pat Oswald given this? You know, it could have been Ray Stance. Uh, but yeah, did I tell you, Ray Stance is so good in the film. Like, um, that that's why I, Frozen Empire is better. Because Afterlife, Ray Stance sucked. And in, in Frozen Empire, Ray Stance was amazing. Um, he, he was the character that I always I grew up. And he's the best part of the whole movie. Uh, and Winston's great, too. And Bill and Peter Venkman. Um, so, it's good. Gotcha. So, uh, is this a Ghostbusters uh, podcast? <laughs> well, apparently so. Yeah. Uh, Keith said this was the best two dollars that I ever spent. Well, you know what? I'm about to multiply that value because I heard something he was telling me offline. He was telling me that he actually has kind of like a, a beef with some Ghostbusters, like uh, I guess people who who dress up as them for Comic Cons and stuff. Well, it's just they're not real paranormal investigators, and hmm. you know, I I love Ghostbusters. I grew up. I love Ghostbusters, but let's be honest, it's a fictional show, you know. And it actually gives paranormal investigators a bad rap, a bad name, because I go out and, and actually do a real, you know, paranormal investigation. And people come to me like, Gabe, where's your proton pack? Where's your PKE meter? Where's your ghost trap? And, you know, PKE meter, psychokinetic energy. It's fictional. There's no such thing as psychokinetic energy. And I actually had a guy on my tour say, oh, no, you can measure it. And he showed, he like pulled out an app and it had psychokinetic energy. <laughs> It's it's literally like they just made it up. Like you can you can say you know I can measure EMF you know electromagnetic field uh, you know but and say it's PKE but it's not PKE and then like you have these people who are like oh let's combine things and call it psychokinetic energy. There's no like way to measure it. It's it's a fictional thing. I mean, uh, proton packs aren't real. Like. You can't pick one up. It's like you know, no one's like out with lightsabers battling. We, you know, we haven't invented this this yet. You know, there's no containment unit. There's no ghost trap. It's all fictional nonsense. You know, so I do like the Ghostbusters when they dress up and do it for charity to raise money for um, you know, sick people and whatnot. Which I actually donate money for my business to a lot of charities to do the same thing. But I actually also really investigate ghosts in paranormal. I don't just do it for like cartoon phony baloney. Um, you know, hey, look at me. I'm a Ghostbuster and I'm wearing, you know, this fake gear. And it, it, some people think they're better than real paranormal investigators. That's all. Hmm. So, um, but I, as you know, I'm a big fan of the movies. I'm a big fan of the TV show. I grew up watching the real Ghostbusters, Extreme Ghostbusters, playing all the video games and uh, reading all the comic books, um, which I'm actually disappointed that Dark Horse now has the IP because I thought IDW the I, was like the best. And uh, the art style just isn't as good in the new Dark Horse Ghostbusters comics. So, huh. Gotcha. Gotcha. I also have something else here I wanted to get your take on. I saw earlier and it's a little bit pride. Uh, Brian said, my mom and sister believe in paranormal, but whenever I'm in these places where they felt it, nothing happens or no feeling. My mom thinks because I don't believe, uh, because he doesn't believe that I give no power to it. Is there any validity to that? hundred percent. If you, if you go in saying, I don't believe you're probably never going to find any paranormal and not to say that you can, I mean, it's possible to be like, it's in the, be a non-believer and I've, there's many non-believers. Like I've made people come my tour. It's like I don't believe, but and then they tell me the craziest story they ever mm. heard. So it's possible for non-believers to find paranormal evidence. But if you go in, like I don't believe, you're not going to find anything. So uh, of course, like the, there's a lot of validity to that. Um, and also, it's it's possible to believe in paranormal, like myself, and go out and do an investigation and not find anything. Uh, happens yeah. more often than I'd, I'd like to admit i mean it's like fishing you know you go fish sometimes you don't capture any fish you know you go paranormal investigating sometimes you don't capture 
any evidence. So that's true. The first time we went on a tour, um, I don't think we really captured much. But then the second time on the drunken bar crawl, nonetheless, when we were having spirits, of course. Um, I remember we were in this basement. You took us to this crazy basement in the heart of downtown Greenville, and you did this trick with the light. Uh, you unscrew this uh, like right. flashlight. It's not a trick. And it's uh, it's not a trick. I did I call it a trick? You just did call it a trick. Yeah. Oh, trick. oh, I guess it's a uh, <laughs> tool. It's, it's <laughs> you, like a flashlight. Method. It's a flashlight test. Yeah. So basically, you, test. you 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 put the flashlight on the edge. So like ghosts are energy, and they can kind of. Uh, turn on on the flashlight as they please so then we uh put it on the edge and then asked a spirit which this is actually the basement of gbx there's a building it's an older building mm -hmm. and it used to be a bathhouse and um you know bathhouses kind of end up being um orphanages because people come and take showers baths and they just leave their children there and then mm -hmm. they kind of get and just get take a taken care of by the community but then the children die and of course they just haunt the the location uh, so, so there's a lot of dead uh, child spirits in the basement of G GBX, and that's where we did that investigation. And yes, I remember that being uh, an awesome, uh, lots of good evidence. Yeah, we we recorded. I recorded some for you, and I think you'll you'll put it up at some point. But I remember you did capture a lot. And I was really surprised. A lot of the people on the tour were starting to get scared. And they like ran away. Yeah, <laughs> I actually crazy. watched some of the footage, and I could tell that I was a little bit inebriated. <laughs> my my performance wasn't up to the standards that I I like to have yeah. on a ghost tour, and I felt very unprofessional and uh, wasn't sure if the, this footage should ever see the light of day oh, okay. uh, because I do take my business and um you know my apparel investigation seriously and to just willy-nilly uh you know put up subpar footage where i was inebriated in a in a business like i was operating a tour and uh you know was visibly uh not to you know i was a little drunk yeah. <laughs> well it's my fault i bought you a drink um <laughs> keith don't cross the streams another two dollar super chat man appreciate you as always don't cross the streams love it absolutely totally agreed um, and then Kit Kat, uh, Kit Kat had a, oh, sorry, wait, that's Keith. How come I can't show that? Oh, I actually can't show it. Well, Kit Kat, thank you for the $2 super chat. For some reason, I can't, uh, actually bring that up. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe because it's a sticker. I don't know, but thank you. Thank you, Kit Kat, man. I appreciate you, man. Um, for doing that. Um, this is, <laughs> this is great. Thank you, Keith and, uh, and Kit Kat again. So, so, okay. Interesting. Um, I did want to mention something else that I saw brought up. Kate. Uh, can Gabe talk about his beef with Sam and Colby? Um, right. So for those who are unaware, Sam and Colby are huge YouTubers, 10, 15 million subscribers, and they basically um, will go through and investigate, I guess, some of the most haunted places uh, in the world, and they do their own investigation there, and, and uh, they, they, you know, they have talked to spirits and, and all of that. Um, but, uh, and that's how they, they've gained their fame, but, but Gabe kind of has a, had an issue with them recently. Yeah, so Sam and Colby are like, it, you know, I get people come on my tour like, oh, do you like Sam and Colby? You like Sam and Colby? And I'm like, you know, uh, I, I don't really like to tell them no, you know. Um, so I kind of lie to them sometimes in person. But like they were on Joe Rogan recently and they like yeah. don't know, you know, uh, heads from tails on Paranormal Investigation. They don't know like any, they like it's like they don't, they're not a certified, they, they don't know what they're talking about. So they, they talk about spirit boxes and mm -hmm. they were saying, oh, it flips through radio stations. Oh, you know, it's not, they it's like Joe, like kind of went further, asked them questions and they don't even know the science behind paranormal investigation. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, um, it's a PSB seven spirit box, for instance, was invented by Gary Golka. It was the number one go to paranormal investigation tool in 2009. It uses a millisecond adjustable forward and reverse high frequency sweep technique coupled with proprietary white synthetic noise distributed between radio frequencies or in more simple terms, the device flips through radio stations. It is said that ghosts and entities are able to you know, interact with the device because ghosts are energy and able to manipulate the sound between uh, the radio frequencies, this white synthetic noise. Uh, and, and Sam and Colby just say, oh, it like flips the radio station. And like, oh, it, you know, yeah, you get a little blip and oh, it could just be the radio or whatever. No, this was something designed by Gary Golka. Um, and 
it has a proprietary white synthetic noise that's actually made easier so that spirits can manipulate this, uh, you know, white noise between the radio stations so that ghosts can easier communicate with humans. And there's so many different ways to communicate with spirits, but some of these devices, such as Spirit Box, makes it easier for a ghost to be able to communicate. Sam and Colby can't tell you this. They say it, oh, it's close to radio stations. And it just made me think that these guys, these kids, uh, you know, just out of high school, I don't even know if they're 18 yet. I don't think they can <laughs> even drink beer. You know, they can't go to a bar. You know, think about, like uh, – you know, where we went to GBX, they probably can't even get in there and go down there because they're not even of age. Uh, and and these, these kids, they're not even wanting to educate themselves in their craft. And they started out not even as paranormal investigators. They were doing like, I don't know if they were doing like, yeah, vines. They're just wanting to get famous. So they're just in there for the, the clicks and the views and the subscribe mm. and for money and fame. You know, and, and I'm tired of all these people coming into my field of paranormal investigation for the wrong reasons. And then they're the ones who get so popular. You know, they're the ones all the clicks. You know, go to my channel. I have 255 subscribers, you know. You go to them, it's like, I don't know, 16 million or something. <laughs> shit. Like, and, and, and their content. Like, if I had the, the time and money and resources, my content would be way better. I mean, you can already see, go into my 255 subscriber channel, like what kind of content, like, imagine if I had the money and resources to create like better content and it's coming by the way. So go to True Searchers on YouTube, click that subscribe button, put a, your, uh, Anthony's gonna put a link in the thing below or maybe so, can you do something so that <laughs> I if I don't get, so if I don't get like five subscribers to, to, <laughs> to this channel, I'm never coming on Anthony's stream <laughs> oh ever my again. God. Oh so, no. Yeah. So, so it, guys. you guys better be subscribing. I need it, 260 subscribers by midnight, uh, four, uh, four 14. Um, or I'm never coming on the stream ever again. So we uh, can't have that guys. We need, yeah. we need game five subscribers. Let's go. <laughs> just, just five. Well, put- I mean, just, I, well, I, want to come, I want to come back. I don't want to put. <laughs> I, mean. I, I want to come. I, I got like to send the bar low enough. Okay, I love it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, Keith actually agreed. Sam and Colby are a bunch of off jerks. Uh, jerks. Yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> oh. jerks. They're they're still yes. off jerks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just started watching them. I didn't realize it was all this uh, this kind of beef till recently. You know, I. I was watching them. I was like, it was pretty interesting. You know, they went to like the Conjuring house and they did like overnight there. Did a few videos there. Well, another reason why I don't like them is a little bit of jealousy. I mean, they're doing my dream, you know, what I want to be doing, you know. Yeah. And here I am. I'm, you know, slaving away on ghost tours. You know, it can barely, you know, put together and I'm trying to do all these videos and it's just a lot of work, you know. In fact, I have a video that I, that's why I was a little late for the stream today. Although you told me I was on time. Uh, but I was editing uh, a, a video. I went to Comic Con in South Carolina um, hmm. to to kind of talk to some of the guests about paranormal. And so that a uh, video will be posting soon. Actually, it's it's a rendering now. I'm going to rewatch it. And as long as it's good, I'm going to post it. But I was wondering because I wanted to have it posted already so I could hype it on this stream. Uh, but hmm. I didn't finish it. So I mean, the video wasn't finished. So I couldn't. But it's like when what time should I post it to get the most clicks and views? You know. Uh, like if it's ready to go, should I post it tomorrow? Uh, yeah. I mean, in the morning, what time? I, I like nine p.m. I you like nine p.m. You think a yeah. night? A night time? Okay. Yeah, I mean it's spooky, right? You can share it in the oh. Discord too. You can watch it. Well, because you're already in the algorithm. People watch your stuff. You have like a, a people who go to your stuff. I mm. I not. To me, it feels like it takes like hours before I even get in the algorithm. So that's why it's like I kind of think, oh, I post it in the morning. So then like. It's like four, five, six hours before the algorithm even picks it up, and yeah. then it kind of takes off or whatever. Makes sense. Looks like Kid Cat, the one who did the super sticker earlier, he he just subbed. Uh, so I appreciate that, Kid Cat. <laughs> Brian said he's gonna subscribe and then unsubscribe if that helps. Um. No, no, it does <laughs> not help. No, no. Uh, why? <laughs> You know. Yeah, why? Why bother? Right? Yeah. Kate says, "Gabe, X, Sam, and Colby collab." Hey, man. 
Oh Sam yeah, I, I'm totally game. Hey Sam Colby, if you're out there, um, love to collab. Um, let's go hunt ghosts together. Uh, we can put this beef behind us. I can educate you on the few the few minor things you guys don't know, and um, yeah, we can we can figure this out. Um, well, but yeah, I decided to get a new drink. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Ghostbusters Oxy Shred and Slime. Uh, <laughs> we got Slimer on there, and this is my new my new weight loss plan. Um, <laughs> this is real okay. Yeah, I'm actually I'm gonna drink one of these every day uh, and try to lose that weight because I actually, I don't know I don't know what's been going on, but I've been putting on a few pounds. So so I found this uh, excellent uh, new energy drink, and I'm not uh, affiliated with. Uh, is this Oxy Shred? Is that the brand or the, the, the company? Um, but if you guys want to sponsor the channel, uh, I could totally be your um, Jared, uh, you know, from Subway. Uh, well, actually, I don't want to be Jared because he um, had like he's a pedophile. Um, OK, but, All right. but you know what I'm talking about? Like, um, you know, I could drink these and be your face of your franchise oh, right, right, right. Yeah. And, and lose weight. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just drink one a day. Well, look at man, you're freaking you're eating all this monster cereal for your reviews. I mean, I mean that's I that's just, probably part of it. I just ran out on my last uh, <laughs> bowl of monster cereal. Oh no! Uh, so now I gotta wait until like last year they came out July. So I think only I gotta wait three more months. But um, it's, it feels like a long time to have to wait. And that's that's a good question. They should probably announce. What if they're gonna do a new monster cereal this year, or hopefully fruity yummy mummy? Um, that's the one that I have not had. Uh, hmm. So right. every everyone who's listening, you know, write to General Mills, tell them we want fruity yummy yum, mummy twenty twenty four. Uh, hashtag yummy mummy. Uh, I don't know. It's on my video. One of hash yummy mummy returns. I think we we're trying to blow that up to get General Mills to kind of release fruity yummy mummy. Looks healthy, looks natural. Mm -hmm. Probably a lot of antioxidants. Zero sugar, uh, brain power, ca calorie burner, <laughs> zero crash, moon enhancer, zero jitters, <laughs> vegan friendly, gluten free. And, <laughs> okay. And they have Slimer on it. And this is actually an interesting uh, rendition of Slimer. He he kind of like his, hmm. his face looks a little different, but I kind of yeah. it's different. So I like it. And he's kind of got the huh. arms. And they don't make Ecto Cooler anymore. So I mean, this is kind of what we have to go to is these. Uh, hmm. And drinks. It does not taste like Ecto Cooler, uh, which is totally a miss. And and High C oh, High C owns Ecto Cooler. It's like they haven't put Ecto Cooler out since Ghost Wars 2016. Like, why haven't they put it out when when uh, Afterlife for Frozen Empire? Like, come on, I, I, Ecto Cooler should be out all the time. I don't understand. In fact, I need to make a video about that because that's really what's pissing me off. Is like we should be able to drink Ecto Cooler all the time. Oh. And last time they released Ecto Cooler and actually have a can, I could grab it, but um, they don't have Slimer on the cover anymore, um, hmm. which, you know, Oxy Shred does. So, and they seem Damn. to be putting Ghostbusters logo on everything now. I mean, it must not be that expensive to buy the brand for your product or what, what have you. Right. Right. Uh, uh, Keith says pairs well with turkey burgers and rice. You know it. Maybe I'll have to try that. Uh, for she's a red, I can taste the memory. Oh, Kate, they made Ecto Cooler in that one episode of The Bear. Oh, that's what that was. That's what they were saying. I oh, see. there is there is a recipe. I should uh, I should try to make the recipe and maybe film it for a video. That would because be cool. I, I, from my memory, I know what it tastes like, and so I can see if uh, if it tastes like what I think. Because I, I don't know what the recipe is, but um, hmm. yeah, I have to watch The Bear. I heard good things. Thanks, Kate, for the recommendation. Although you like Ghostbusters 2016, so um, I don't know. I don't know if I could take any of your uh, movie recommendations or shows seriously. Oh no, uh, Richie X is the bear worth watching? Absolutely, hundred percent, absolutely. Especially if you come from a you know crazy family, <laughs> it gives back really great horrible memories. But so, by the uh, way, are your fans liking this this stream? Like, we should talk more credit cards. You know, let's get uh, back to the credit card talk. I mean, come on. <laughs> well, We've really been kind of floating all over this. Like I, I, was I love it. Talk credit cards, right? So I guess on the topic. Uh, well, actually, I have two questions then, because in the thumbnail, I just made it real quick, like you know, half hour or whatever. I, uh, I said credit cards are paranormal. Is that possible? Are there any credit cards that are paranormal? I don't know if you remember this. I think I messaged you if there was like. Anything oh right, there. yes. Yeah, that's right. I said no. I don't think so. So I think, but you know. 
I need to research it further. And um, there's possible that there's some something paranormal and related in the credit card field. And I'm actually trying to, you know, think about it, research it more. So if any of your people watching this have any ideas of anything that could be paranormal related to credit cards, uh, send it our way. And because uh, Anthony and I are going to do a collab video. Yeah. Um, I was thinking maybe there's a way to um, take a credit card and maybe use it um, or maybe maybe uh, yeah some a, a spirit could probably you know read the numbers or like maybe you could buy something from a ghost could you buy something from a ghost using a credit card maybe I know, mean, what, and, and what could a ghost ha have to offer like it, if you could buy something from a ghost what would that be and if you f figured out what that thing would be, uh, could you try to buy it with a credit card? And that's kind of <laughs> where, where I'm going with this. Um, I, yeah. I mean, we could probably just like use the credit card to buy your tour. <laughs> and then, uh, and then that's where we can. Yeah. So exactly, right. that's it. <laughs> credit yeah, or, one. May, or maybe credit a ghost normal. credit card, like one that doesn't exist, but it goes through. That's like good... if, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and now we're getting stuff that might be illegal. Uh, but uh, if we could skirt the line between illeg illeg illegality and paranormal uh, and lean it more towards paranormal and less towards illegal and maybe legal. So if you, could do, if you do a Venn diagram and you do legal and, and paranormal and we wouldn't be in the middle of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And if you have another if you have another one, it's, it's illegal. Uh, you want to avoid that one. So, you know, I, and actually, you know, I could draw, I could I have a piece of paper. I could draw the hey, people don't want to watch me draw Venn diagrams or anything, but um, we just need to be legal and paranormal and then we'd be good. And I think we can come up with something. So to be uh, coming soon, everybody I, subscribe I, to the truth searchers. I think we can make it happen. DSPI. Um, yes. Brian says, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, he says credit one, credit paranormal, one. I've never seen one in person. That's funny. Uh, credit one, paranormal, I've never seen one in person. I don't understand what that means. Oh, oh credit one. No, he's never one, seen man. a credit one card. I haven't either, actually. So that is a ghost. Yeah. Wow. That's, Kate also asked, does Gabe only fly Spirit Airlines? That's a good freaking point. Huh. That's, that's a really good point. Um, Do you? I, I try to fly it as often as possible. <laughs> Uh, the problem is it just it's limited on where it goes. So I'm hoping that they can expand so they can go to the cities and, and countries that I, I, I'm actually traveling to. But uh, apples to apples, if the price is the same and the destination is the same, then I would go spirit over any other ones because, yeah, the branding and the name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. And it's like ghost energy. You know, I, I, I'm always going to sure it choose ghost energy of her balls you know yes that's a good one. <laughs> xavier thank you for the super chat as well my friend i appreciate that don't worry that's we are enjoying, enjoying. It. right yeah um yeah maybe we could talk about what we okay. what we want to see in the next ghostbusters uh <laughs> okay ghostbusters uh, i think we maybe not i don't okay, know maybe not. <laughs> maybe not we'll say that we'll save that for the next stream Thank you. Yes, we'll see. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, so Casper is <laughs> out uh, walking around. I may need to go find him. I don't know if that's okay. bad for the stream. but uh... so, can you Oh, there he is. He's fine. I can see him now. Okay. Okay. So I guess on, the, on to bridge the gap, um, ha have there ever been any uh, hotels that you <laughs> stayed at um, that uh, were haunted? Or do you plan to go to any yeah, that are haunted in the future? Definitely. Other, you know, those um, I have a video that we've been working on for some time. Um, and I don't know if it's it just it's not done um but we have we basically have a client who told us the hotel was haunted and we went there and found evidence hmm. um but we're still it's still an ongoing investigation uh therefore it might be a long time and i don't know if i can uh tell say which hotel this is um but mostly because you know branding and you get in trouble about specifically and then saying something without full evidence Mm. Uh, so we have some evidence, but we're, you know, so it's a lot of questions, uh, but it is, uh, in Savannah, uh, it is a name brand hotel, hmm. uh, and we have some pretty good evidence and we have a video of a client of ours 
saying some pretty damning things and um, we're kind of linking it all together. So hmm. I'm really excited to release this video, but it probably will be a long, uh, it'll probably be a while. Um, gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, Do but you... yeah, I've, uh, there's lots of hotels that are haunted, like in Mills House. I mean, in, in Greenville, South Carolina, there's uh, notoriously the West Oak Point Set Hotel is one of the mm -hmm. most notoriously haunted paranormal sites in Greenville. Uh, the Hyatt Regency Hotel, the yeah. elevator is haunted. Um, mm -hmm. There's, I mean, if you think about it, most old things are haunted and even newer things could still be haunted too. There's no reason why um, a spirit couldn't haunt a place that's brand new, you know. Like, there's no yeah. reason why the the new uh, what's the new Bohemian. hotel the Bohemian? There's no reason why the Bohemian can be haunted. And in fact, I need uh, I've been is. yeah. I mean, think about the land and like all the you know Indian. You know, I don't know. There could be Indian burial ground. I don't know over that way or or some Native American thing going on. Um, I'd like to investigate it. In fact, we we discussed this a little bit yeah. uh, about possibly going over there and doing an investigation. Because it's a Marriott autograph collection. It's a nice hotel, but it's very spooky. So I'm yeah. wondering. You gotta try to get there, maybe. Um Richie's asking uh something called your thoughts on 1408. Uh yeah, uh, that's uh, a movie with a haunted hotel. Uh oh. it stars um oh what's his name? Is that not Clive Owen? Is it Clive Owen? No, it's the other guy. Um thank well, it's also a, it's a Stephen um King book, right? Uh, I remember really enjoying the movie when it came out. In John Cusack. John, John Cusack. Yeah, John, John Cusack. Oh, Cusack. <laughs> I yeah. said Cusack. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's been a while. I actually saw it when it came out. So that was, wow, I feel old. 2007. It feels like it wasn't that long ago, but it is. But yeah, wow. Stephen King book. Yeah, I haven't seen it since then. So, I mean, I don't have a lot, of, lot to say on it, but I remember enjoying it. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. Not and, bad. I like haunted hotels. Uh, lots of hotels are haunted, and hopefully, I can get to the Mills House and finally, you know, complete that. I want to investigate yes. the Westin Point set. Anyone yeah. who comes, anyone who comes out of town uh, for my ghost tour, and also if you come to Greenville specifically for my ghost tour, please tell me. I, I want uh, one person did that, and I was like, man, I want to have people coming to travel specifically for my ghost tour. That's that's when I know it's it's like. You know, taken off and big time, awesome. Yeah, but yeah. stay at the Western Point set if you can, because mm -hmm. and uh, document any paranormal activity because I'm trying to do a uh, documentary there and I need stories. Hmm. Uh, so if you come there and have a paranormal uh, experience, contact me. I'll do a video interview. I might even, you know, we could work out negotiate. Uh, you know, like a beverage or twenty dollars. <laughs> uh, you know, whichever um, is higher. Yeah, whichever is higher. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm just trying to get uh, – I could do a documentary, but without, like, people on video telling me their stories, it just doesn't – the documentary doesn't come together. And I actually had a yeah. lady, and I talked about this on my tour. Mm -hmm. She had this amazing paranormal experience, but when it came down to get in front of the camera and telling me her story, uh, she ghosted me. Yeah. And uh, uh, so I can read the story, but, like, you know, without getting her telling the story – it just doesn't have the same effect. Hmm. Uh, so I need to get people that actually have these these events happen to them. Instead of just reading about them online, like <laughs> how cool a documentary is it when I just have a piece of paper in front of me and I'm like, uh, a ghost uh, came in front of my uh, house and, you know, like, uh, you know, it's like <laughs> this nonsense. I'm just reading a story. I'm not like getting firsthand experience. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I agree. I, but, I mean, <laughs> you know, at the Western Point, there's cool. like an old, older man, age to be about 70, hmm. black coat, white shirt, black pants. Uh, but he kind of is seen, you know, inside the, the hotel um, and people yeah. sometimes wake up and they're frozen. And then, you know, he's there in the room. Um, yeah, you said like they were dressed looking for a dinner at party. Them. Yeah. Right. Like when you wake up, it's just he's standing at the foot of the bed staring at you. Uh, yeah, and apparently this happened to multiple people. I had a couple people on my tour say that this happened to them. So. Wow. But then, I said, but then I'm like, oh, will you do this for camera? And they say no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> well, that's a Weston, so I guess Marriott owns it, right? So whoever's got uh, some Marriott points. Yeah. But actually, if fans who have any uh, cool paranormal stories, uh, I always like to get them. And uh, hopefully if they're close to driving to Greenville – uh, I can go investigate them or if they're not close to driving um, 
and they want to pay for my plane ticket and put me up in a hotel, I'll be happy to go investigate in whatever city that they reside. Um, yeah. Keith even said, creator meetup in New Orleans uh, has just been moved to the Mills house. Could you imagine? Oh, that would yeah. be so sick in Charleston. That would be cool. Um, E.T. points home. He said, sorry, I'm, get, I'm late getting here, but has anyone asked about the stay in the Queen Mary? Hmm. Yeah, I've never stayed at the Queen Mary. Um, did you? No, no. Oh. But uh, I guess referring to Sam and Colby and oh, staying yes. here uh, at the Queen Mary, the, that yeah. ship, which was, uh, yeah. I think, I think, I think it actually took, I guess, the Queen <laughs> over, and it was like seats decommissioned, uh, and then people were able to stay there as almost like a hotel, and then now it's completely done, and that's where they found most of the. Uh, like Knox, it's like the convention is a lot of Knox all around the room like crazy, and they had the most evidence. That's well, how it started a, their game in the game. Well, that's another thing about Gabe and Col uh, Sam and Colby is that they say that they proved that ghosts exist, but it's like, I don't know, please, you know, like you act like you guys are like the ones who solved it all and that they are <laughs> the experts and. You know, whoop de doo You get to go to all these cool places and record, you know, film all these cool videos, and you get to get, you know, millions of views on YouTube and TikTok, and like, wow, look at your cool life. You know, you're really just complete influencers. You know, you're not a investigator, or researcher, an educator. You know, uh, although I'm trying to do a little more influencing myself, uh, which is why I'm uh, going to review ghost energy drinks. So stick around and stay tuned to the also uh, this might be a good time to talk about. I, I am working on an album um, and I actually <laughs> released my, I released my debut song, which is actually a synchronized line dance. Uh, and actually, yours truly, Anthony Venture, can <laughs> in the music video all the way in the back. If you see me with like, yeah. like, getting crunk. Can you can you move the mouse? Because because I don't know if people know that that's you. Can you like? No, I, I can't actually. But, no. Okay. Well, you yeah. can kind of see who he's to the right of the 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 swamp uh, man, yeah. which is actually that mask is supposed to be the Oogie Boogie Man, uh, Oogie oh. Boogie Mask. So he's actually the Oogie Boogie Woogie, uh, which is the name of the song. Mm. Uh, let's see, where's Anthony in this photo? He actually looks to be not, not in it. He actually yeah. picked a still that he was not in. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is uh, I got I got some local Greenville people to do a, uh, my synchronized line dance, and you can actually watch my instructional video to learn the dance yourself, and you can do this in the comfort of your own home. Uh, there's a lot of monster dances. You got the Franken stomp, the Dracula dance, the Mummy Mamba. It's hard to do in a chair. The Wolfman Whirl, the the creature feature, the witchy walk, the zombie La Bamba, <laughs> the Banshee Bop, the Wampus Waltz. I remember uh, all the of them. Ash, <laughs> uh, the Flying Purple People Eater, the Mananangal March, and uh, El Shiro Kinu Katsukami, and then the Oogie Boogie Woogie. <laughs> yeah, so, so Anthony actually has the – believe it or not, Anthony, you, you're uh, – your friend Anthony Venture is a dancer. He knows how to dance and how to groove and yeah. to get down and get up, get 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 down. Get to get down Anthony yeah. Venture dance in your town. Um, so it's on Spotify too. So it is. It's on Spotify, and it's so so I'm actually releasing my next single. Um, I want to say, I, I'll just say next month. I have a date in mind, but it, again, um, it has to be done before I release it. And and my big question is. Should I release it on Spotify? And I'm I'm kind of leaning towards no because it's like not worth it. Um, huh. But I, I haven't decided yet. Um, so I'm definitely releasing on YouTube, and uh, and I'm making an album, and I'm hoping to have that album next year. Uh, I have all the songs written. It just turns out it's hard to uh, make an album when you have no musical talent. Um, but uh, yeah, you can listen to my my song the Yogi Boogie Woogie and my new song called Close Minded. Uh, which will come out in, uh, yeah, next month. Um, huh. yeah, I'm know. hoping, hoping for Paranormal Day. I want to release it on um, Paranormal Day, so that's my goal. Which I why, think is why wouldn't it be worth it to do Spotify? Uh I mean, no one listened to uh, Oogie Boogie Woogie on Spotify. That's not true. I did. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not getting any money from it. Oh my like, god! All right. I, I pay money for it. I. Uh, I guess I guess my idea I guess right now you know it's like who why am I making music I guess because I'm <laughs> passionate I guess because I'm yeah. passionate about it and I want to have an album to sell on my ghost tour 
So I want to peddle my merch to all my ghost <laughs> people come on ghost tour and be like, hey, here's my album. And then they actually have this thing and it's freaking awesome, at least yeah. in my opinion. I mean, I'm not going to release music that I don't like. Um, and, you know, once you hear, I actually, I'm hoping to release another track this fall um, that I'm excited about. And actually, I did some verses for you on the tour. That's uh, right. So, yeah, yeah. And that's, what? Be, that's, that one's Be a Searcher. Um, right. And you have diss yeah. tracks coming out. You got a bunch of different yeah. things. So the next one is a Ricky Gervais diss track. Um, so I'm going to tease it a little bit. Ricky Gervais, uh, comedian, you know, comedian, uh, comedian Ricky Gervais, uh, in his special called Super Nature, he made fun of paranormal investigators' investigation, uh, and he thinks he's so clever, um, but, you know, he's really just close-minded, and uh, I wrote a whole diss track uh, dissing this this man because he's a little close-minded uh to not and and i really want to inv invite ricky gervais to come on a paranormal investigation with me gabe matthews and uh so i can educate him and and, and maybe we can kind of bridge the gap uh into our differences you know everyone's we're so divided now whether it be you know right versus left uh you know paranormal believer versus non-paranormal believer we're so divided and i just want to bridge the gap uh but i i was a little mad so i i tweeted out and he, if, you go to, now. if you go to my if you go to my Twitter, um, I don't know when Supernature came out, uh, so it probably was twenty twenty two. But I uh, I tweeted at Ricky Gervais, and he retweeted it. Yep, and it blew up. Um, and that's pretty much uh, the words in there are in my song. Um, <laughs> so so he retweeted it, and it blew up. Look how many reposts and likes and. Um, all that stuff, but all his fans started dissing me, and um, so I, I and it's like I tried to respond to him, and he didn't respond to me ever. So it's like, what what do I gotta do? I gotta write a diss track. Um, hope to be a butterfly someday. Did I write that? Yeah, I guess so. What? Like I'm confused. Why would I say I want to <laughs> be a butterfly? This person, this person said, "Okay, prove paranormal. Follow my YouTube channel." <laughs> Look at him so you can educate him. Uh, yeah. That's great. We'd love to have the opportunity. Yeah, see? It's like all these people <laughs> are get so mad, but it's like just come to my YouTube channel and, and watch my videos and you'll you'll get you'll get the truth. There's a lot of replies. It's like right, hundreds right? of replies. Oh my god. Oh look at this. <laughs> watch out. Ricky he'll stick a ghost. <laughs> Which I can't so we're more looking. Ricky uh nothing and no Ricky, Retweeting that just proof he's genius. Um, watch out, Ricky. He'll sick a wee ghosty on you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. See, this is People what I'm crazy. talking about. This is what I'm talking about. They're just dissing me. So uh, be on the lookout for my Ricky Gervais diss track uh, in May. Excited. Uh, Keith, I would be remiss. I just want to get you there. Super chat too. Again, I appreciate you, man. Anything, is this all because, <laughs> Anthony, is this all because of Amex and their FHR? Yes, all this entire stream is because of Amex. They ruined us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, appreciate that, Keith. And Keith also said, F that guy. Ricky Gervais sucks. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Right. Steve and, and, did. And we all you know, we all know. This. Um, uh, actually there's a lyric in my song. Uh, the only good thing to come from his career is afterlife. Um, <laughs> oh no, no, oh no. Ghost town. The only good thing from his career is ghost town. Everything uh -huh. else was a major letdown. Um, but I do have afterlife is in the song and I'm not going to diss it cause I haven't watched it. I haven't seen afterlife, uh, but he did a whole show. Um, I forget the concept, but he's dead or something. He's a ghost. Well, ghost hmm. town, ghost town is a good movie. Uh, so if you if you uh, for those people who uh, want to give Ricky Gervais a chance, uh, maybe Ghost Town uh, would be good. Maybe Afterlife's good too. I don't want to diss something I haven't seen. Uh, but you know, the best version of The Office starred Steve Carell. Um, yes, actually, Kate literally on point. But this game like The Office. <laughs> yes. But yeah. So uh, yeah, US. the best version starred Steve Carell. Um, yeah. So what what can I say? Um, <laughs> Well, I love – you have so many different things <laughs> going on, Gabe. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I hope. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else we, to 
yeah, I think uh, yeah, be on the lookout for my YouTube channel for the, the my new song. Uh, I also have a uh, South Carolina Comic Con video that uh, I guess Ooh. I'm releasing tomorrow at 9 p.m. Is that what I heard? I think that's yeah. I think 9 p.m. Okay, I'll yeah. try tomorrow 9 p.m. Uh, so yeah. that's what I feel like it doesn't get in the algorithm, and then it's like. Imagine it gets it doesn't get into like midnight and then like no one's gonna watch from like midnight to like seven a.m. and then it's gonna have like thirty views. No, uh, but if matter. everyone, uh, how many people are? Can you tell how many people are on the stream right now? Uh, right now, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you fifteen could get on at nine o'clock, <laughs> you know, actually go to my YouTube channel, hit subscribe, uh, follow True Searchers, hit that bell, you know, get a little notification, and then nine o'clock if you just sit there and watch my my video, and we can maybe. Uh, get this one out there uh and then i can you know my i'm trying to get a thousand subscribers here you are like 5k dude last time i was on your stream you were at like i don't know one i don't know maybe more yeah probably so you went 5x 5. and here i probably went 2x or i don't know i probably had 50 i don't know what i had i think you had about that long. yeah about maybe 50 to 80 something like that so okay maybe i went 5x too 4x huh? 5x yeah hell yeah, yeah. Just, just more it's content. just slow it's like a grind it's like you know how long can i keep doing this for like i don't know i just feel like i'm not 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 where i want to be anthony it's more volume man. not it's where pump, i want to be just pump up the content go let's go do some I know. wanted places it, it's awesome. just it's time it's if i if more people watch a video i would i would put more time it's you know <laughs> it, it kind of all compounds like so, i yeah. want to create better and more quality i you know i'm Right now, I'm doing like one video a month, and then we're doing like a podcast, so you can come on and yeah. check out my podcast. Uh, it's not yeah. live, um, but I might do some more live streams, or you know, we'll see. I, I'm kind of busy right now, but obviously, the more people who watch my stuff, the more content will come out, and um, mm -hmm. you know, I'm definitely gonna uh, be pushing it out this year. And um, I actually was trying to get on my YouTube to see if anyone subscribed. <laughs> uh, I'm like, shameless. <laughs> I love it. I got it's two. So I got two. You got so you two. Got three. Right. You need. You gotta get three more, or else I'm never coming on the stream again. So oh, actually, <laughs> like all your account, everyone who has this, you know, you have like four Google accounts. Get on all your accounts. <laughs> and it goes, you're right. It's, oh my God. You're right. You're right. Because the thing is, it's like you could pay for subscribers. <laughs> then it's just yeah. a number. You want actual people who are actually gonna watch your videos. So yeah, that's the problem. Is like if your people like they're all in the credit cards, they're not in the ghosts. So they're not going to – unless – I don't know. I still want to do a credit card video. Well, eventually we're going to do a collab anyway. Yeah. Uh, so then they'll come. And sh and Casper is really uh, mad at my hair. Uh-oh. Um, yeah. Oh, Cesar actually asked you what you do for your hair. He said you have very nice hair. Oh, thank you. Find um, I guess I was just uh, blessed uh, with, with great hair. Uh, and I have some – uh, gel. I, I put some Mitch in it. I don't know if hmm. it's just kind of what I have. Um, but um, you know, I paranormal investigators are a rare breed, so I, I think it's a good way to just kind of you want to stand out, you know. And so I decided to do this kind of like uh, I guess it's considered a faux hawk. I don't really like the term faux hawk. I think um, yeah. you know. I just want to have like a, a spiked middle hair. Um, and it's just kind of what I decided to do. And just the fact that it has something called a faux hawk, like a mohawk, you know, you have to have bald on the sides or whatever. Hmm. But like, I'm not going to get bald on the side. So I just want to spike up my hair in the middle. So just because it has that name. Um, you should just so make it one like point, it. just one point in the middle. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what <laughs> and I. That's it. That's kind of what I try to do. Is just what do you mean? Just like like that, or what do you mean? Like like a very narrow, just just literally like a cone. <laughs> straight oh, up. like to all go to the center. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like it's hard for me to do it on my own. But you know, I'd like to get a uh, hairstylist to kind of do some more stuff. Uh, I if yeah. you watch my videos, I kind of either rock this out, uh, or I, I've been putting my new hat on. Which uh, if you guys want a hat, you know, write in the comments below. Like I want a hat, and then and then I'll. Uh, I'll make sure to get it in my merch store, which I don't have a merch store yet. That's another good thing. You have a? Do you have a merch store? I use a Shopify to sell these. Isn't that things. expensive though? Like hundred some dollars a year or something? No, no. If you do like there's a beginner it? plan, it's like five a month. Five dollars a month? Oh, yeah. Well, what do you get for five dollars a month? Is it five a month or five a quarter? I think it's five a month. Um, 
what do you get for it? Well, you just have the platform to be able to, you know, host all of your merch and stuff. That's that's pretty much okay. it. You don't really get anything else. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I can start a Shopify. I don't know. I just have to then sell like what three things a year to make it pay for itself. Yeah, it actually, has price, to more. Yeah. Well, because I actually bought like all the shirts, so I'm already in the hole. I'm already in the red. Hmm. Uh, that's the problem with merch. Is like you know, you either buy it. Well, Shopify kind of okay. ships it out to you, right? Like they'll they just you don't have to. Touch, I mean, they buy it. They'll ship it directly to the consumer. Yeah. You don't you don't touch it. Yeah. Okay, so they kind of do all the work. Yeah. So. I it's not a money maker by any means. I think I maybe only had one person who wasn't uh, an, another creator <laughs> do it. Actually, Kid Cat, which I appreciate. Um, right. But the rest are just creators who are just, you know. So it's not anything that I, I just like to, I actually just like to wear it and it fits well. So I, now I just wear yeah. it everywhere. Well, I mean, do you ever wear my Greenville Ghost Tours t-shirt out and about or, you know, home or, you know. Uh, I think around? I did once or twice after we, you gave it to me. Yeah, but once or twice. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe you could wear it more often, especially around Greenville and, you know. I could promote, do that, yeah. Promote my brand. Because, you know, I, when I wear it out and about, people are like, oh, cool. What's this ghost tour you're talking about? And they're like, well, let me well, you tell know, you about that. You know what you should do? Do what I do. Put a freaking QR on the back. Yeah, there you go. And let the so, QR code directly to the website. Yeah, so I have a bunch of business cards that have my QR code, and I pass them out on my ghost oh. tour. And people are, are just either incompetent or they just hate my tour, and they never go to it and don't, don't do anything with it. So... Yeah. Um, every once in a while I get a, you know, a, a nice, you know, younger, usually a younger person who does the, oh, only two hours away, Elena. Hey, Anthony Fantino, um, not fan. If, if you're Fantano, I'd be like, Hey, you need to review <laughs> my upcoming album. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, come on the tour and I guess use the promo code venture. Um, uh, and, and anyone who comes who, who is kind of here because of the venture capitalists, definitely, you know, let it be known. You know, so, uh, and then maybe we could get Anthony to meet up too. You know, it's, he's, yeah, well, yeah, for sure. I wonder how, how many is there a lot of Greenville people listening, or is there, uh, as far as I'm aware, only two have ever made it known. <laughs> so right. I only know of like two people. Well, it's good because I, you know, my whole YouTube is like I'm trying to reach, you know, other states, other countries, you know, yeah. not just Greenville. Um, even when I do local content like South Carolina Comic Con, it's really for a wider audience. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of New York, a lot of Florida people, you know. Okay. For sure. That's... But I don't want to keep you any longer because I know you're actually doing a tour uh, after yeah, I do this. Got, you got a tour tonight. So, so Filmo subbed. You're at 260 now. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I am at 260. Let's see. Let's let's verify. I am. All right. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like your uh, your people want me back. So I got they got to two sixty. Let's go. <laughs> Filmo we'll probably one. subbed on three three accounts. Uh, yes. So, so uh, it's like two ghost accounts and one real. But uh, yeah. that, that's really what it is. Is you want subscribers who are actually going to click on your content? Because I watched a video where. Um, uh, Mr. Beast like shouted out a couple of video, a couple of people, and yeah. then they're like their channels blew up, but there were in niches that are not Mr. Beast, yeah. so then no one watched them, and then it's yeah. like it went to shit. Like, so you you want to organically grow. So like yeah. I actually have a a 260 people who actually are uh or I think you know like <laughs> yeah. probably probably 50 you know there's still a percentage of them 50 of them probably don't but so like i probably have about 210 people who actually watch my videos yeah. uh, which is pretty good and it's an organic growth and one of these days i'm gonna get to that five like five thousand. you know I look, I look at anthony venture here uh and i strive to be just like him so one day one day i'll, I'll be just like you so. okay <laughs> okay appreciate it i don't know if you should aspire to be me but that's uh <laughs> it's, that, I get Transylvania it. I get on my bucket list. Uh, well, I mean, Transylvania is is not really a real place, um, <laughs> but yeah. But I mean, like um, the kind of the the region over there is kind of uh, considered to be what that is. And yeah, definitely want to go check out like what Romania. And uh, I'm actually googling it so that I can uh, trans. And actually, you know, it's what's coming up is transsexual and transgender. Um, oh. You know, which uh, you know, I love uh, f what Franken, um, you know, Rocky Horror Picture Show. 
Uh, it's mm. good. Um, have you uh, have you seen the Rocky Horror uh, they do in Greenville? Not yet here. No, no. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun time. They do it at the uh, uh, Paper Moon Studios. Um, oh. huh. Yeah, so it's a cultural, historic and cultural region. Um, so like Hungarian, uh, Germany, but yeah, Romania. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to go there, check out some castles, see uh, where you know Dracula kind of resided. So for sure, when it comes to ghosts, do mediums like a John Edward see things or talk to the same ghosts? Uh, you know, like, uh, if I have a beef with Sam and Colby and Ricky Gervais, let's just say John Edwards is probably even higher up, not a fan of the him. I think he's a, he's a fraud, a phony. Um, and I don't know. Um, I just, I think he's a fraud. So, um, gotcha. Crappy person. Fantino says you doing late night paranormal live. I'd love to see that. Yeah, sure. definitely. I, I actually last October we, we were we had we were talks with a venue to do a live investigation and stream it, uh, and then it just never happened, and not because of my part, more because, um, well, I was super busy, but it's like they never, it just kind of fell through. But I would, I kind of want to do it around Halloween this time, um, yeah. to do a live investigation at a location. Uh, that has a haunted place. Uh, so that's definitely on my radar of things to do. Um, a live stream. Yeah, and maybe I'll invite uh, Anthony. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I always like to have guests when I do investigations. So um can always do a live stream. And maybe Anthony and I, we were talking about doing a collab. Um, maybe we can do a live live stream investigation uh, or something someday. That'd be fun. So, That'd be yeah. fun. Well, Go subscribe to Gabe. Uh, we yeah. put it in the link a couple times. It'll be on the VOD after when this ends anyway. So I'll, okay. I'll throw it in there as soon as I can. And then, uh, yeah. And then, and then uh, yeah, he's going to have some videos coming out. So I appreciate everybody who came out for this live. I want to run through real yeah. quick as well. And, and uh, I get it that you guys want to talk about credit cards. And, and <laughs> let it be known that it's not because of me that we didn't talk about more credit cards. True. I wanted to talk more credit cards. <laughs> In fact, multiple times, uh, hopefully I was like, I want to get back to the credit card talk. You know, why we keep talking about ghosts and paranormal and all this stuff. We want to talk more about credit cards. So, um, apolog <laughs> apologies to everyone out there. Uh, and, and, and more it's Anthony's fault. You know, Sorry. I wanted to talk, I wanted to talk more credit cards. So next time I'm on, we'll talk more credit cards. Okay, <laughs> I appreciate it. Not every day you get a paranormal investigator, man. That's what I'm saying. It's uh, a it's true, a, true a, story. Well, we gotta talk a, a little bit about paranormal, and and yeah. I'm still trying to like again merge the credit card and paranormal uh, field. We you know we should have multiple collabs, and there's got to be some more paranormal research that we can do with credit cards and ghost credit cards, and um, yeah, those out there who have any ideas, send them my way, and we'll get a cool collab. Yeah. Cool. Well, let me run through it real quick. We got Keith with the, the super chat. I appreciate you, man. Filmo from earlier, Kid Cat. He had the super sticker. Now I can bring it up. <laughs> Xavier with it. So I appreciate everybody who super, super chatted today. Definitely super appreciated. Um, also, okay, okay, last second. Swamp Rabbits versus Go Priors. Post Rabbits. Right? 7 p.m. Tonight? Eastern. What do you got? Tonight? Is it tonight? I guess. Yeah. Tonight. Ghost Pirates, baby. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Gabe, for being on, man. This was a lot of fun, just like last time. We'll have to do it again, definitely soon. And uh, whoever's coming down, let's do a ghost tour with Gabe Friggin Casper signing us off. Well, and thank you, everyone who is here. We got Cesar, Phil, Keith, John, uh, Anthony Fantino, Mr. Don Kim, Richie. Everybody who's here, Kate as well. Fantino, if I didn't say it already, thank you all for being here every single week. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> so. Everyone take care, enjoy, be safe, and uh, I'll see you later, Gabe. Be a searcher.